Good afternoon, kindergarten, and welcome to math. You are going to need to pull out your HMH into math modules one to three workbook. And you are going to need to open up to page three, okay? Today, we are going to represent numbers to five with objects. So the first thing we're going to do is to look at the picture and circle the objects in groups of three, okay? Now, I see the first objects I see are the birds. There are one, two. That's not three, I'm not going to circle that one. The next thing I see, the objects are kites. I see one, two, three. That is a group of three. I'm going to take my pencil and circle my three kites, okay? Now let's try the children. One, two, three. That is a group of three, okay? Mrs. Turner's having a hard time with one hand circling, but there's my circle, okay? How about trees? One, two, three. That is a group of three. Squirrels, one, two, no. Butterflies, one, two, three, yes, circle. Flowers, one, two, three, four, five. Nope, not three. Dogs, one, two, three. Yes, that is a group of three. A rock, not a group of three, okay? So we finished this. I'm going to want you to complete these activities with me. So if you need to go back and watch the video again, you can. So this is, this is the we do part of math. All right. Now, I see up here the name. The first thing I do is always the same. I take out my pencil and write my name. My name is Mrs. Turner. You will write your name at the top of your paper. Are you ready? Find the same number of objects, okay? So here we have one, two, three. We need to decide whether this has the same number of three or if this has the same number of three. One, two, no, that's not the same. One, two, three, yes, that is the same. I'm going to make a line from this group to this group because they are the same, okay? Now, match objects in groups. Okay, so in order to do that, we need to do one-to-one -one correspondence from book to backpack, okay? Book, backpack, book, backpack, book, backpack, book, backpack. Look, these groups are the same. You can tell they're the same because they match. Very good. Now, I'm going to write my name, Mrs. Turner. And you will write your name. Here, we are going to represent the number of fish using objects and drawings. Okay? How many fish? One. Now to represent it, we need to fill in in the five frame. This is a five frame because there are one, two, three, four, five boxes. Now since I have one fish, I need to color in one box, okay? Down here, I have one, two. I need to color in one, two boxes. Okay. At the pet store, 
Brittany sees a red fish. A is how many? One. In the top fish tank. Then she sees some yellow fish in the bottom fish tank. In this case, some is one, two. All right. Let's turn the page. Now, we are going to listen to another story. And we're going to use our pencils to represent how many, okay? In this one, there is a gray kitten at the pet store. How many is A? That's right, one. There is one kitten, so I'm gonna color in one box. There are orange kittens sleeping at the pet store. How many kittens? One, two. I will color in two boxes. One, two. Okay. Now here, we're going to listen to the story and draw to show the puppies. Color in each puppy in the five frame and trace the number you represented, okay? One puppy is drinking some water, one. Okay, so here is my puppy. I'm gonna give him a round face, a triangle nose, a mouth, two eyes, pointy ears, okay, one puppy. One puppy I need to represent by coloring in the five frame, one cube, one square. One, the number one, is a straight line down, is so much fun. That is how you make a one. Good. In this part, two puppies are playing in the yard. I need to draw two puppies. One face, two face nose, mouth, mouth, eyes, eyes, ears, ears, two puppies. I need to color in the squares to match. One, two. Now I need to write the number. Right around and back on the railroad track. Two, two. Now we're going to listen to the story, draw the objects, and trace the number you represented. One bird is in the sky. Um, to draw a bird, I'm going to go like this. Boop, boop. So here it is flying. Kind of looks like a bird in the air, right? One bird. A straight line down is so much fun. That is how you make a one. Two birds sit on a fence. I need a fence. Two birds. One, two. Right around, back on the railroad track. Two, two. Okay. During this activity, did you need help? Or did you know what to do? If you needed help, circle there. If you know what to do, circle there. Now, to respond to this activity, you are going to go into your other workbook. This one that we just worked in together was here. You're going to go in this one, so it looks a little bit different, grade K, and that one says modules one to three, okay? So you're going to go into the one that says grade K, and you are going to do page one, and page two. You're going to take a picture of one of these pages that you thought you did your best work. 
and upload it into Seesaw.